solo board gaming night here and today I'm going to be reviewing E.T. the Extraterrestrial Light Years From Home board game. As always, I like to give you an overhead view of the table so you get an idea of how much space the game takes up. And it's quickly apparent that this game does not take up a lot of space at all. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the box and see what's inside. I really love the actual art on the box. This is nostalgia on overload and it's immediate as soon as you lay eyes on the box. It looks really great on my shelf. When you lift the lid, you're going to be welcomed by a very iconic plant from the movie. The quality of the dice, tokens, enemy tokens, cards, player cards, and the ET life dial are not the best but they are good. You'll also find the miniatures for the mothership, the kids, E.T., and what's kind of neat is that you can actually place E.T. inside the basket of the kids' bikes. The rule book really wants to pull at your nostalgia really hard. Uh, it's really small. It's only got 14 pages, and it's a quick and easy game to learn. With that out of the way, Let's go to just the basics on how the game is played. During your turn, you could take up to three basic actions. You can take a movement action to move up to two spaces through shortcuts and through the neighborhood streets. If you ever move through or land on a space with an enemy, that's called a dangerous move and it requires you to roll a danger die. Refer to the manual to see what the icons on the die do. You can take a piece of candy from the supply and add it to the kid's pool of candy. You can pick up an item or a device and place it on your character sheet. You can place up to two items on your character sheet and also hold a device inside of the basket of your bike. If you ever pick up an item or a device and there's an enemy nearby, that's called a dangerous pickup. And you're going to have to roll that danger dice. Once again, refer to the rule book to see what the icons on the dice do. Apart from your basic actions, you can take any number of free actions. You could drop an item or device on a nearby zone. You can discard a piece of candy from the kid's pool of candy and move E.T. one space on the board for each piece of candy discarded this way. You could pick up E.T. placing him in your basket or drop E.T. off on your current space. While E.T. is in your basket, you can use one of the E.T. power-ups available to you. When on a space with another kid, you can link your bases together and team up, moving each other along the board. You can also use their abilities as if it's your own. However, if you end your turn with another kid on your space or ET on your space, you have to roll a danger die. Once again, referring to the rules book to see what the icons on the die do. When playing on the normal difficulty, once you've already dropped off four items near a device space, once ET moves near that zone, you get to build a device die and place it on the board. Kids can then pick up that dice and place it in their bike. After you've done all the basic action and free actions, you get to phone home by rolling all the dice that are available in the forest clearing. For every phone icon you roll, you get to move the mothership one space closer to the forest clearing. Finally, you move the enemies. You do that by rolling the two enemy die. Depending on the icons rolled will determine how the agents react. Once again, referring to the rules book to see what the icons on the enemy die do. During the agent phase, if an agent lands on a space with the kid, the kid is caught. You'll then have to drop any device in your basket and any items in your player card on a nearby zone. You reduce ET's life dial down by one. 
And finally, you return the kid back to the starting space of the board. If Agent Keys ever lands on a space with ET on it, reduce ET's life dial by one. The objective of the game is to get ET to build a device using the items the kids collected throughout the board. The kids then have to deliver those devices to the forest clearing. Phone home by rolling the devices at the forest clearing, getting the mothership to get into the forest clearing, and finally reuniting ET with the mothership. You do that before ET's life dial reaches zero or before all of the cops reach their destination surrounding the forest clearing. And that's really how you play E.T. the Extraterrestrial Light Years From Home board game. With that out of the way, let's get on to the review. Before that, I want to share a quick story with you. You see, I was about three years old when my mom took my brother and I to go see E.T. at the movie theater. And that scene when Elliot first met E.T. was absolutely bone-chillingly terrifying for me as a kid. It really terrified me. I remember I was so scared that I actually lift my, lifted up my feet from the ground, off the ground, because I was afraid that E.T. was actually going to be crawling along the aisles of the movie theater and trying to take me. I was scared. But as the movie went on and I started to see the bond that these kids, especially specifically Elliot, was forming with E.T., that fear started to slowly fade away. And in its place, I started feeling the friendship that they had. And I was really starting to invest my emotions in these two characters, Elliot and E.T. It was such a drastic change going from fear to all of a sudden losing that fear and starting to feel this emotion of actually wanting a bond with the character. Keep in mind, I was three years old. At three years old, I felt like I was part of this adventure. I think I had forgotten at that time that I was actually still sitting in the theater seat. I felt like I was with these kids going on this grand, grand deals adventure. It was some great stuff. And when E.T. died, that was the most devastating thing that I was watching. Kudos to the Elliot actor. I mean, I felt it. I, I think I was traumatized when this happened. <laughs> In hindsight, I, I think it traumatized me. <laughs> but wow, I mean, just that wide range of emotions that I went through as a kid watching E.T. was unlike anything I had ever experienced up until that time. Then E.T. survived, came back to life. I was happy again. And shortly after, I had to say goodbye to him. It was so crazy. I mean, the emotions that I was going through because of this movie at three years old, I, I think was probably overwhelming for me, but I just didn't know it at that time. I just think about that now. And saying that big farewell was just one of the most emotional and sentimentally charged moments I have still never relived ever again and I'm well into my 40s so now you know what ET did for me growing up with that said and now that I'm done with this story let's get on to the review ever since I walked into the store and I saw the art in the box of ET I knew I knew that they had captured the look and the feel and playing the game and seeing the actual card and the art that is included in this game is heads and shoulders above any expectation I could have ever had for the game. You could tell that this game was crafted with love by fans of E.T. and it really shows throughout the game. Although I really like the idea of having the miniatures be the kids on the bikes, I really do not like the miniatures at all. They had this really terrible slant to them and I had to use the hot water, cold water tactic to try to 
uh, straighten them out. But even doing that several times, as you could still see, it wasn't perfect, but it was just a really frustrating thing to see. They feel cheap, and not only that, they have this texture to them. It's this strange texture that just doesn't feel right. It feels chalky, but nothing comes out. It's really strange. I, I don't know how to say it, but the basket is really cool, and I do like how the basket's integrated inside of the gameplay by carrying the devices around. I really, really do like that a lot, and also the way you could put ET in there. That's awesome, that's standout, but the actual miniatures itself, I just don't like, they feel very cheap. I, I would almost say that, although they look really cool, it's amongst the worst feeling miniatures I have ever owned from all the board games that I own. Now with that said, I really do like that the ET miniature is, is actually painted and that's really cool i also like the mothership the way it's st it stands on on its base i really like that it's a really nice touch but overall the miniatures were a miss the gameplay on the other hand really does pay homage to specific scenes in the movie i mean it really does do things that watching the movie as a kid i'm like hey i saw that that's exactly the way it's it, it works in the movie and i really did like the way they integrated those moves i also like the way that et has to build the devices using the items that the kids uh put to get bring together and that that also is very reminiscent to how it is in the film and it's Touches like that, homages like that, that really stand out in the gameplay department. And I really do appreciate it. Also, the fact that you have to call the mothership back to the forest clearing, it's really neat. And there's going to be some homages there to the movie that's just, it's hard to miss. You're, you're going to know exactly what it means. And it's going to be nice seeing it. I really loved it. And my favorite part was actually using Candy to get E.T. to go where you wanted him to go. This, that was my favorite part of the game. On the flip side, I felt that the game was a little bit too on the easy side. Now, I understand that this game is aimed at kids, but considering that I grew up during this era, I was expecting to be a little more challenged than I actually was. Now, there is a way to increase the difficulty by making it so that you have to collect uh, more items to be able to build a device and I really strongly recommend that you do that to help you increase the difficulty and make it more challenging and rewarding and you can see the different difficulties available to you in the rule book itself. Apart from the difficulty being too simple I think worse than that is the fact that I think the replayability of this game is a little bit on the low side because you start and end the game the same way every single time. The only difference is gonna be is where the tiles are gonna be on the board because of the randomness, the way you have to shuffle them in the beginning of the game, and how the agents are gonna move due to the die bringing randomization into the game. Other than that, there's not gonna be a lot of differences. The dice are gonna be the only things that are gonna dictate any sort of difference from one game to the other. And I think at the end, it's going to be to the detriment of the game itself. It's a fun game, but I don't think the replayability is there. In closing, your enjoyment from this game is going to really depend on the type of person you are. If you, like me, grew up with the movie, you're going to really enjoy all of the art all of the moves that pay homage to the movie itself and just the way the gameplay works, it really does follow the movie. But those miniatures personally for me were terrible. I didn't like them. It really dampened the enjoyment that I had because it was a bad first impression. Now I did like the Mothership and E.T. but overall the miniatures were a huge miss for me. The difficulty was also something that kind of was a miss for me. It was just too easy. And I, once again, I strongly recommend that you increase the difficulty. And I just have to reiterate, the homages to the movie of E.T. is just hands down. This was a labor of love. And you could tell that the people that were making this game had the movie well in their mind and in their hearts because it really stands out. 
but the replayability is all going to land on the roll of those dice. And to me, that's not really enough to truly say this is a game that I want to replay over and over again because it all hinges on those dice. The game pretty much plays the same every single time you play it. Let's be honest. If you're like me and you love the movie just as much as I did, you walked by this game at the store and just by looking at the, the art, you were sold. I was sold and honestly, I like to have it as part of my collection because of my love for E.T. It's not perfect, but it is a nice game to have. To be honest, at under 25 bucks, it was definitely worth it. With that said, it's a solo board gaming night. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you and everyone else has a great game night. Take care.